I'm going to show you how to add raster images and other data into your Starnet network plot. I'm just going to run the adjustment and then open up the network plot. New in Starnet 7.2 is the Layer Manager. The Layer Manager allows us to open data files located on your computer or download online data from mapping services. Over 150 different data formats are supported, including many raster images, CAD, DWG, and DXF drawings, shape files, and so on. I'm going to click Open Data File, and I'm going to start by selecting a shape file that I've got. I'm just going to browse to it and open it up. This project, uh, the control points are just outside of our office, and I've got uh, a shapefile showing contours uh, that were downloaded from my regional district. So the contours are now displayed as part of the plot. And if I zoom out, you can see that they do extend well beyond our area of interest. I'm going to go back into the layer manager and open another data file. This time I'm going to select a DXF file. Unlike the shape file, which contains all of the projection data directly in it, the DXF does not contain projection details, so we're going to prompt you for them here. By default, this dialog will be set up with all of the options read directly out of your uh, Starnet project, so typically you'll only need to click OK in here. This dialog, however, does give you the option to reproject across different units, different coordinate systems, and so on. In this case, I'm just going to click OK. When I close my layer manager, the new uh, DXF file is displayed, which you can see the white lines, which uh, are center lines of uh, roads. I'm going to go back into the layer manager, and open one more data file. This time I'm going to open a raster image. I'm going to select a JPG file. In this case I do have an associated JGW world file. The world file contains all of the positioning data, but it doesn't contain the projection details, so again we see the select projection dialog. The image is loaded up, and when I return to the network plot, it's displayed there. I'm going to go back into the layer manager and I'm going to download an online imagery this time. Several online data sources are provided by default, but this list is completely customizable by adding your own data sources from uh, different online sites. I'll show that later. I'm just going to select this world imagery item. In, under the select area to download, I'm going to tell it to download the entire data source bounds. When I press OK, the online imagery layer will be added into our layer manager. So you can see that it's downloaded the imagery off of the online source. The image that you're seeing back here now, it's not a file that I have on my own machine. If I go back into the layer manager, remember that I added a different uh, JPEG file. It's actually now it's being ob obscured by the world imagery. The uh, order of all of the items in the layer manager can be controlled using the arrows on the side. Um, as a general rule, the Starnet network plot items, your points and descriptions, they're always drawn on the very top vector type files, for example the DXF uh, drawing files, shape files, they're always drawn above any imagery and then the imagery is drawn on the bottom. What's happening in this case is the world imagery from our online source is obscuring the JPEG file. If I set the JPEG file lower in the list so that it's drawn after the imagery you'll see that it now appears. So this uh, ordering is a little backwards compared to what CAD users might expect from a draw order command. You can think of it more as 
uh, the display order or the the order in which it's going to draw the items it draws items on the top first working its way down to the bottom so in this case the world imagery is drawn and then the JPEG is drawn so it appears above it as I mentioned all of the uh, online data sources are customizable I'm going to switch to a different project to show you that so this one it's a very trivial project it's just a single point um, the important thing is that I'm uh, getting into an area where I have uh, some uh, imagery available from the service that I've subscribed to when I go into the layer manager again I'm going to click download online data and I'm going to click add new source you can choose the uh, the uh, type of server that we're going to use in this case mine is a WMS or a web map service so when we click OK we're prompted for the uh, server URL which I'm just going to paste in here and then when I click get list of available data layers it's going to connect to that server and find out what data is available for download in this case the uh, service is divided up by uh, different layers based on geographic regions I'm going to grab the uh, BC imagery, I've got some Vancouver data and then we're asked for uh, basically this is the folder in which to uh, add our source I'm going to add this into the imagery folder or we could add our own uh, category if you want so my new Vancouver 2008 source is here again I'm going to uh, tell it to use the entire data source when I return to my network plot there we go we've got uh, imagery from uh, in this case it's the uh, Vancouver Airport